Developing story. A father and son are now charged in the shooting death of an unarmed black man in running in Georgia. Investigators took Gregory and Travis McMichael into custody last night. Cell phone video shows the pair confronting Ahmad Arbery. His family says he was just out for a jog when he was shot. Police say the suspects told them that they chased the victim because he resembled a break in suspect. Well, today would have been Arbery's 26th birthday. Michael Abeda shows us how runners from across the country are paying tribute. We want to do this for our health and for our mental well-being. For Coloradans like Jessica Bart, running is part of their everyday routine. She was shocked when she heard about the case of Ahmad Arbery. He was just in his run gear. Like he t-shirt, shorts, shoes, just going about his business. Then when she saw the video of his killing, she was horrified. It was something that like got stuck in my head. She decided she needed to do something to speak up for Ahmad. Sign petitions, email the contacts that they had sent out, make some phone calls and leave some voicemails. Then she heard about Friday's Run with Ahmad challenge. May 8th would have been Ahmad's 26th birthday, so in his honor, runners are running or walking 2.23 miles to symbolize the day he was killed, February 23rd. Jessica went with her teenage son. And I said, you know, I just want you to think about your freedoms and the way that you run, because he doesn't run feeling afraid, you know, and he's not a black teenager. When they finished, they paused for reflection. And I said, we're going to say his name. And he said, are we just going to say it or are we going to yell it? And then I yelled it and he looked at me like I was crazy. She just hopes that now anyone, regardless of who they are, can enjoy the sport she loves in peace. I just feel like we can do better. We can do better. Michael Avetha covering Colorado first. Thank you, Michael. The man who took the video of Arbery's death is also under investigation. Authorities say that William Bruin was following Arbery along with the McMichaels. We'll be right back.